So I was uh, driving home one morning, early morning, around uh, two o'clock in the morning, and I uh, saw a man laying in a parking lot, and I thought it was a little odd because I never really saw anything like that in the neighborhood. So I stopped and I kind of looked over, and I, when I investigated further, I saw that there was what looked to be blood next to him. So I saw that he was in distress, so I tried to help him, and I uh, called 911. The youth detective came to my house the next morning and kind of set me up with the Child Witness Center and gave me a card, business card for them, just in case I needed anything. And I, I didn't really reach out to them at first, but then uh, Caitlin texted me one day and she just kind of told me what was going to be happening, the court dates, when I was going to be receiving my subpoenas. So she kind of gave me the rundown of what, what, what I was to expect in court. I wouldn't have known what to do in court because it was my first time going into court. So just them giving me kind of the rundown of what I was to expect and all that kind of stuff really helped. In Sebastian's case, I reached out to him, let him know who I was and what our services are, and to, just to see if he was interested in some extra support through the process. Uh, Sebastian and I met um, over the telephone with the Crown Attorney, and we also met in person at the preliminary hearing, which took place at the Ontario Court of Justice in Guelph. Our Citizen Award is to recognize people who kind of bravely step forward in difficult moments to help someone in need. And I think um, Sebastian literally exemplifies the reason we have this award. As someone who, at a relatively young age, found himself in a very unexpected situation, saw someone who needed help, uh, probably in that moment was a little bit anxious, a little bit unsure of what to do, but that's what courage is. It's stepping forward in that moment of, of difficulty to help someone else. In this situation, he helped someone else. He contacted the police and, and emergency services so that the appropriate assistance could be um, provided and truly did um, help someone get the, the, the emergency medical attention they needed on that day. It actually impacted my future in a positive way, if that makes any sense, because I just got to kind of put my foot in the door with policing, got to meet a bunch of officers, and especially with my degree and my interest in policing in the future, I just thought that it really helped with that, yeah. It's okay not to be okay after seeing something, and if you need help, it's okay to reach out.